Tonight, what may be the final legal battle in the saga over the infamous steel dossier. Igor Danchenko flanked by his legal team for the trial accusing him of lying to the FBI. He was a key source for private intelligence reports alleging that then presidential candidate Donald Trump conspired with Russia's election interference operation in 2016. Trump used those charges as a rallying cry to fire up his base throughout the campaign. But I think it's a disgrace. It's just really a very, it's a very sad, it's a very sad commentary on politics in this country. Named after Christopher Steele, the former British spy who compiled it, the dossier has been exposed as largely the product of third-hand gossip. That includes the dossier's most salacious claim, that Trump cavorted with prostitutes at Moscow's Ritz-Carlton Hotel. The indictment says Danchenko lied about how and where he heard that story, a story Trump has always denied. It turned out to be a concocted fairy tale made up by crooked Hillary Clinton, the Democrats, a sleazeball writer named Christopher Steele. The Clinton campaign was fined more than $100,000 earlier this year for failing to properly disclose payments that went to Fusion GPS, an intelligence firm that hired Steele and completed the dossier. The Clinton campaign had no role in writing the document. It was made up, and I understand they paid a tremendous amount of money and Hillary Clinton always denied it. The Democrats always denied it. And now only because it's going to come out in a court case, they said, yes, they did it. They admitted it. And they're embarrassed by it. Special counsel John Durham was appointed in 2019 by then Attorney General William Barr to look into whether the FBI and the CIA overreached while investigating whether Trump was conspiring with Russia. But the three-year investigation has resulted in only one conviction. And in the Denchenko trial, the judge threw out Durham's request to use much of the dossier as evidence, including the prostitution story. All right, Ken Delania joins us now from Washington. So, Ken, explain to our viewers that last part of your story there. The most salacious aspects of the Steele dossier are also the ones most discussed, even as complete fabrications. What was the judge's thinking about this one and how it could impact the trial? Yeah, Tom, Judge Anthony Trenger really slapped down Special Counsel John Durham on this point. The judge ruled that some of the facts Durham wanted to put in front of the jury about that Ritz-Carlton rumor did not qualify as direct evidence and were, quote, substantially outweighed by the danger of confusion and unfair prejudice. He accused Durham of engaging in an unnecessary and impermissible attempt to make this case about more than it is. The judge, who was appointed by George W. Bush, wouldn't let Durham put the dossier on trial. So, so Ken, if you can, tell us where we're going here, because at first you had the Steele report raising the possibility that Trump conspired with Russia's election interference since debunked. Then you have the special mm -hmm. counsel Durham appointed to find FBI and CIA wrongdoing in their investigation for the Russia collusion, which has also resulted in, in only a single conviction. So after all of this, a lot of accusations that have been knocked down, and yet nobody apparently did anything incredibly wrong. What, what, what is going on in this trial? What, what's next? Well, actually, Tom, both special counsel Robert Mueller and a bipartisan Senate Intelligence Committee report found that the Trump campaign did a lot wrong by knowingly accepting help from Russia, even if Trump didn't actually conspire. The Senate report said the Trump campaign left itself open to manipulation by foreign intelligence services and found that the campaign chairman was meeting regularly with a suspected Russian spy. But here's the thing. The dossier played no meaningful role in those investigations, but the focus on its unsupported claims in this trial and elsewhere clearly have made it less likely that any Trump supporter was going to accept those official findings. Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.